All right, guys, uh, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Um, today I'm bringing you a five month update on my um, Venus flytrap flower stock propagation attempt here. Uh, I've had some pretty good results and I just wanted to share it with you. It's been about five months now uh, and I'm kind of ready to show you um, what the results are looking like. I got both of my um, attempts here with the, the three different pots and we're gonna um, take a closer look at these guys and uh, so you guys can see the results after uh, five months. This one's actually, this one here is actually closer to six months. Um, probably more like five and a half months because these ones I believe was about mid-December and I think I put those ones in there uh, around beginning of January. So we're looking at five and five months for this one and then five and a half months for this one here. So um, just to give you kind of an idea. Uh, but real quick, I wanted to thank you guys for being here. Um, thanks so much for supporting me and my channel. I appreciate it. Uh, giving this video a like or a thumbs up are, are awesome and they help me out a lot. I'm trying to open up a carnivorous plant nursery. So thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting me. And uh, a like and a subscribe are something that helped me out a ton. So let's go ahead and check it out here, guys. So um, I wanted to make this video kind of quick. So I'm not going to lag around too much. Let's just take a look and see. Um, so this one has been uh, going for, uh, this is about five and a half months. Um, so let's zoom in here so you guys can see. Um, so you can see there's some actually some nicely formed traps. Uh, you can see that there's some new ones coming up. Oops, got a little too close. Right over there to the left. So there's new traps coming up. Um, this one's doing really good. This one looks really healthy. Uh, and then I still have this one over here that's producing some, some new growth. Uh, so hopefully soon those ones will sprout up and, and produce some more traps. Uh, come on over here to the other one. Uh, this one has been pretty slow, uh, but it is producing. You can see there's some almost flight traps there. Um, and then over here, kind of the same thing. Um, it's producing, but not very quickly. It's kind of a weird, um, kind of whitish red trap over there. And then the last one in this pot, right over here, you can see these ones are doing the best probably out of this this pot to the right here and it's uh it's got some smaller to make it a better angle for you some smaller traps that are coming up that one over there in the back is looking like it's just about ready to open uh, but you can see this one's actually going to have kind of a lot it's growing pretty well and that one's actually one that was stuck into the ground um, and it actually seems to be doing a little bit better than either of these guys so well, let's go and bring this other one over um, you can see this method um, all i have these are in a tray of water and then i have to water these daily um, the top water, but let's take a look at this one over here. So this one has actually been uh, less time. This is probably about 15 days, two weeks less. Um, and you can see that the results are probably even a little better. Uh, so take a look over here. We have some, we have a ton of traps coming out of this one here. Um, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight traps. And then also some new ones coming in. So that one's doing really, really well. Super, super healthy. Looks great. Um, I have these under full light now. Um, probably about 10 inches away from the light. Um, it's a it's a Sansi 36 watt bulb. Uh, so here's another one here. That one's one that's sticking into the ground. You can see they're starting to come up. Um, that's got some fly traps that have developed there. Uh, this one here also sticking in the ground, starting to develop some traps. This one here has a ton of traps on it. Um, kind of like the other one, it's a little bit behind, but it, it actually has some nicely developed Traps, see me get a little closer. There you go. And then these ones over here, um, I don't know what's going on, but they've been, they, they started growing and they, they look a little bit different. They almost look almost like jello or gelatin or something, but they, they these ones burn kind of easy. So you can see the tips of them are all kind of burnt. And then it's kind of the same with these ones over here. Uh, you can see that they're, they're kind of burning up a little bit. So I'm not really sure what the problem is. Uh, they're getting the same exact light as these guys over here and these guys are thriving um, but for some reason these ones just aren't doing that great which is okay um, as long as I'm getting these hits over here I'm pretty happy with this success rate so um, but you can see here that this method um, is working so much better having a cutoff planter inside of a, a piece of Tupperware here um, I'm not covering these anymore um, so that they can get better sun um, I suppose that if I did cover them at least while I was not or, I'm sorry not sun I'm not putting them in the sun yet but uh, better light. I suppose I could probably still keep them covered at nighttime, but it's just kind of a pain and it doesn't really seem necessary anymore. Um, so I, I'm not covering these anymore um, and maybe that did slow down the growth a little bit like on this one here and maybe this would have grown a little bit faster if I'd have kept it uh, covered, but right now I'm not covering these guys up. Um, this one I have to water maybe once a week without it being covered. 
this one I have to water every day. So that's kind of the big difference. So I strongly recommend this method here uh, is much better. But yeah, guys, there we go. That's my five month update for this guy. Five and a half month update for this guy. Um, you can see that the progress is a little bit slow, but this does work. So uh, get out there and uh, cut some flower stalks and, and begin propagate them. Hey guys, I have a quick announcement to make here. Um, I just want to let you know that I'm actually working on a Venus flytrap um, online uh, video course, um, which is going to be sort of the A to Z of taking care of Venus flytraps. It's going to be really cool and I'm really excited. Um, I have a, I'm sort of in pre-production right now, um, but I'm setting up a page right now um, for you guys to be able to go ahead and go there, sign up, uh, put in your email address so that you can get alerts and everything um, when this product becomes available. Um, it's probably not quite ready yet, um, but if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that I finish it and the link is in the description. So uh, make sure and go check out that link and uh, get signed up so you guys can get alerts on uh, this, this awesome video course that will be coming out. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks again guys for being here, appreciate you, um, remember to like this video, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, thanks so much, and I hope to catch you guys on the next video, bye.